What's up, guys? We're back. We just got finished doing the part two of the most spread solos. Just before I choose this player, I just want to show, show y'all my team so y'all can see where I'm coming from. As you see, everybody is on this team. We are no money spent. So, as you see right there, offensive line is kind of cool. It's mid, it's ah, uh, you know. But they, they get the job done for the most part. The oldest player on the team is Joe Thomas, as y'all see. So, anyway, let's get into it, man. Let's open this pack for the BND 87 Most Fear as far as part two. So, let's go. That is the intro. I'm not going to do that for all of them, but I just want to show y'all that. So let's start over here. T. Higgins, man. T. Higgins. Ain't he a tall guy? Like he's 6'6 six, six or something like that? 6'4. Now, if y'all like a person that can go up and go get it, he'll probably be nice. You know, he cool or whatever. But 87 overall, there's probably a lot better receivers. As you see, we got 89 Randy Moss, 88 Mike Fennerin, uh, Victor Cruz. Comparing to Victor Cruz. So right now, he's actually he's taller. But Victor Cruz is one speed faster. And he has better stop, stats. So if y'all wanted a better slot, a guy, or whatever, Victor Cruz can catch the I mean, uh, T. Higgins can catch the ball, but it looks like Victor Cruz is the better route runner. So so maybe T. Higgins is L. Um, Joe Tyron, or however you say his name, show or whatever, comparing him to the question mark everybody gets, the question mark is a lot better. Obviously, this man has better finesse moves. Finesse moves is actually pretty good in this game, but... Um, I probably wouldn't go with this man as a free card because it's a, a lot of right outside linebackers, including this free one that you can potentially upgrade and be a lot better than this guy. So no, not this guy at all. Um, Gabe Davis. I like Gabriel Davis a lot, man. I like this man a lot, but they did this car absolutely dirty, bro. This car is freaking trash as far as his stats. I like him in real life. This man is a dog. He deserves a car. But they did this man card dirty. Like, look at this dude, man. Only thing, like, this man only gave, they only gave him deep route running. Look at this. Look at this. Look at his catching stats. Why is this man catching traffic at 80? Gabe Davis is the dog. But that's the only reason why. Maybe if this card was a lot better, I would choose this guy. Uh, obviously, if you want a right receiver, choose T. Higgins over Gabe Davis. Kendall Fuller, I am not going to choose his card because we already got him as one of the free B&D cards earlier from the first part. Um, so we do not need him, but as you see, this man has 84 man, 87 is on decent guy, you know, but it's a lot better corners in the game. Tyler Higby. I like him. I, I like Tyler. He, he cool. You know, 6'6". Six, six. That's who is that size. Look at the spectacular catch at a 90. Catch and track at a 90. This man is probably one of the most underrated tight ends in the game. If y'all want a budget beast, if y'all don't want to go out and buy a tight end, look at this run block. It, it, this is, this guy is amazing. Compare him to Michael Mayer, and you see Kyle Pitts is right here. The only thing Kyle Pitts has better than him is speed, short run, and meter right running. Everything else he has better. Well, obviously Kyle Pitts has catching as well. But this man, don't sleep on this man. I'll say it like that. Um, this man is nice. So anyway, Malik Hooker, we do not need him. We got Eddie Reed, but let's compare him to Eddie Reed. Um, obviously, growing up in the era of Ed, Ed Reed and Palomalo and all those guys, I'd rather have Ed Reed on my team than Malik Hooker, to be honest. Even though Malik has better acceleration, but play wreck, man coverage is way better. I'm not about to run around with nobody with 79 man coverage at safety. As as you see, the zone and hit power is a lot better. Malik Hooker is probably ill right now. Sorry for the Cowboys fans, but it is what it is. Jawan Johnson, I have no idea who this guy is, but we just told you all about the the tight ends. If y'all want to choose one, go get Tyler Higby. Um, Jalen Petrie, strong safety. We just talked about Troy Palomalo, but let's compare him. Somehow he has an any acceleration that is insane. And Troy Palomalo is only a 75 tackle. I did not know that. But 80, 84 tackling for this guy. Um, this guy is okay, but I wouldn't start him on your team. How tall is he? 5'11"? So if you want a tall guy, maybe, but Troy Palomalo is obviously better than this guy. But I wouldn't choose him as my free card, Mac Jones. Y'all know how I feel about Aaron Rodgers, but I'm stuck with him. Really, go with the quarterback I can get right now. Maybe if they put more quarterbacks into the game, I'll be all right. Um, Mac Jones has a faster he's, – he's a faster guy. But Aaron Rodgers is throw power. We actually got him boosted up to a 90 throw power, even though it shows 87 right there. 
uh, I wish they showed the comparison with the boost, but I guess they did that because people didn't like it or whatever, but I don't know. But deep accuracy, this this card is not good. Just don't get Mac Jones, man. Just don't get Mac Jones. Um, cause you're a white. I like him. He's cool. He, I don't think he gets that ability, but 86 speed. But I would not choose my free card on this one as as well as um because you see we got Channing Crowder, a free card. So don't do that. Pretty much, you know, Landon Dickerson. We'll come back to him. Jalen Phillips. This guy, Jalen Phillips. He's not my guy. He's a Drew guy for, for y'all people that be watching my channel. We don't like to get each other's players. But comparing him to Shaquille Leonard, even though Shaquille Leonard is a left outside linebacker and he is a right outside linebacker, that is not bad. So if y'all need a, a a left, he's a left, right? He's a right. Okay, there you go. I'm like, he didn't even show up. So let me compare him to the question mark, but I just told y'all the question mark. He's not even fully leveled up yet. And he already has three things better than Jalen Phillips. So this is a free car. I wouldn't go out and get another free card at the same position. So, but that being said, who am I going to choose? I am going to choose Lyndon Dickerson, guys. Um, I like to have that breakdown for some reason. Y'all love these videos when I go through this type of stuff. I, I guess y'all just want to see what's in the pack or see the breakdown of how I think. Like I said, you you guys do not want to go out and spend money on, like, linemen. Even though I have before, that's how, I, like, my linemen I have now. Uh, let, let, let me compare them. I went out and did his set earlier on in the year. So, but I'm not going to sell them because I might need, need, need this card for the Team Diamonds. So, anyway, 87 strength, 87 awareness. You see the 87 pass blocking, 87 run blocking, 87 run block power. Only thing he has better is pretty much the pass block finesse. He, his finesse, he's a finesser, bro. Kendrick Green is probably one of my favorite linemen, like young guys coming to the league right now. But Landon Dickerson is obviously the bigger uh, running back. I mean, not running back, freaking lineman right now. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's choose Landon Dickerson, man. My bad, guys. I'm just excited, man. I'm just ready, man. Like, I'm so happy to be making these videos. Shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me. So we're going to insert this man into the lineup. Let's get it. Like I so said, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, bro. Let's go. Landon Dickerson. Put him into the lineup right here. All right, so as you see, the other guys demoted. We're going to keep him on the team. Well, we're going to keep him in the lineup just in case for the Team Diamond stuff. Um, are there most fear chemistry or no? Yeah, it is. So right now, Landon Dickerson in the lineup. And that's how he's looking. So there we go. So we upgraded our offensive line by a little bit. Uh, we might need to get another right guard. It might this man Tevin Jenkins has actually been doing good. Only person that's been getting dominated so far on my offensive line is Joe Thomas, and he is the only Hall of Famer on my offensive line right now. But he's the one that's been getting dominated. So with that being said, that is it for this video. Hopefully, we can get a most fear like a uh, champion or whatever they call it eventually. But right now, we do not have. I guess the funds or the cars to like go ahead and complete one, but we'll see how it goes. I'm out.